Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. <laughs> I had to think about that. Um, I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. When you join this, say hello um, and let me know where you're tuning in from. And if you're watching the replay, hashtag replay. I feel like this platform or all social media platforms are such a tool for connectivity. So I love knowing like who's really on here, who's really watching so I can engage with you. I can say hello. And um, today, out of all the days, what I'd like you to share with me is what's your favorite book? What's one of a book maybe you're reading right now or one of your favorite books? I know my bias, but one of my favorite books is my book, Live Your Truth, my first one. My second one I really like too, but it's not like a, like a story. It's more researcher based. So, um, and then another book that I'm reading right now, I can actually show you, I didn't think about this. Um, it's called The Lost Symbol. Um, by Dan Brown, but anyway, it like literally fell from the sky. I was walking. Um, I go on walks every day, and I like see this black thing fall from the sky, and I thought it was a bird, and I was like, oh, I'll be up there soon and like see what it was, and it was literally this book that like fell from the sky, um, and it's quite ironic that it's like a very spiritual book, and the author is very much about spiritual awakening, so the synchronicities of life seem like they always occur in my life. Had accelerated right. So anyway, I'd love to know your book. But for those of you who don't know me, my name is Colin Gallagher. Hey, Patrick, how are you? Um, and what I'm super, super passionate about is, or, or I'm known, I guess you'd say, to be a profound healer and a very insightful guide. But what I'm very passionate about is guiding you to understand your purpose and remember that you have a soul. Remember that you're here to have a divine expression. Remember that you're here to release pain and really recode your reality to live with joy. Um, this became a passion of mine because I had cancer at age 14 and why I'm doing this 31 day live series whenever you're joining on it is because I have my third book in three years. I cannot believe it. I can believe it. I should say that's coming out. Um, it's called an uncompromised life where I share a story. Um, thanks. Yes. Patrick has read my first book, live your truth. So he loved it. I highly recommend going to Amazon and getting it, but this series that I'm doing is for my third book, An Uncompromised Life. So I share a very dear story of my life and many women and men, we do this, but how I compromised my character, my desires and my needs for love. And so I co-created a narcissistic relationship and I was a spiritual codependent, but basically how that functions is you both are sucking energy from the other person because in a way you're both empty. So when this 31 day live series that I'm doing is I want to share 31 ways that I've broken my heart and then created it as a love story because I feel like a lot of us, and I'm going on my own life, I guess, I at some point became okay to live with heartbreak. I became okay with pretending like my feelings, my voice, my needs, my desires, my wants, my dreams, that they weren't important, that they didn't no one wanted to hear them, that it wasn't important that I shared it in any type of relationship dynamic because it didn't matter. So why even, why even start to share it? And what I want to talk about today on day 20 of this 31 day live series is that the, one of the biggest ways we break our heart is called trust, <laughs> where we don't actually trust ourselves. We don't actually understand that when we feel something and when we have a knowing, and I'm not just saying in a way of, I feel like the sun is gonna rise. Like, no, you have this knowing in your body. Of like, I feel like I'm meant to be with this person. I feel like I'm meant to experience something with this person. I feel like I'm meant to break up with this person. I feel like there's something off in this relationship. Like, I feel like there's just something that's not clicking. Like, those things, when you feel it in your body, you just, you just have a knowing. Like. I know because I know because I know. Oops, I was gonna sneeze. Ah. <coughs> Bless me. Um, I know because I know because I know. When you are that way, when we have those feelings, oftentimes we don't trust ourselves. Or even if we've broken up with someone and it's been like three or four years that have passed and we just feel like, I know I'm meant to send them a letter, I know I'm meant to send them a card, or um, I know that I'm meant to actually be with that person. Like, and we have this knowing in us and we don't take action on it. Or maybe we're in a relationship and we know it's been over for a long time, but we feel like we have this loyalty or a sense of codependency of wanting to not hurt the other person. 
um, because we don't want to have to face that pain, but we're actually causing more pain because the other person knows it's over energetically. You know that it's over energetically, and yet you both of your physical bodies are showing up to something that you know is just not what's healthy. And so when you kind of disobey this trust that you have within yourself, or when you kind of, yeah, I disobey, don't listen to it, don't take action on the trust, what you know to be true for you, you create your own heartbreak. And this can go on for months, it can go on for years. Some people stay in marriages for decades or relationships. And when you compound that, that emotional trauma, that emotional incongruency of what you're feeling on the inside isn't matching what your life is on the outside, it's going to cause some huge problems. It's going to cause some huge, huge things of you compromising your soul for love, for you compromising your needs, for you pretending you don't have needs, for you really living your life for something that isn't true to you. And so what I highly suggest, if this is you and you're listening to this and you're like, oh my gosh, Colleen, I feel like this is, you're speaking directly to me. Like, I feel like I know these things about how my life is meant to be, but they're just not that way. And I feel like I'm not living consistently, consistently with how I feel and how like my life is. Then I highly, highly, highly recommend that you pre-order my book, An Uncompromised Life. Um, We're in pre-order. And so all I have to do is message below uncompromised or DM me or message me uncompromised and we'll get you the link for it. Um, The second thing is that when you're watching this video and you share it out on your feed or onto your Instagram story and you just tag me, so all I have to do is tag me if it's Instagram, I am Colleen Gallagher. Tag me on Facebook, the Colleen Gallagher, so that way I know that you shared it and my team will be able then to put you in a drawing because at the end of October, October 31st, we're pulling three names and the first person will get, um, or all three people get a, fir- a copy of my first book, Live Your Truth Signed, a copy of my third book, An Uncompromised Life, my Oracle deck. And then we also have the first person we pull gets two one-on-one calls with me. The second and third person get one one-on-one call with me. And so share this out, tag people, say that it's about trusting yourself um, and letting you know. Um, and then the last thing I was going to say, if this is something that you're listening to and you're like, Colleen, I feel like I'm in an abusive situation. Colleen, I feel like there's, um, maybe you're single even. There's a lot of my friends who are single, <laughs> I should say, and they come to me with this. Like, and you feel like there's just something in you that knows that you're not trusting yourself. You feel like there's something in you that knows that you're meant to live an uncompromised life. You feel like there's something in you that knows that your soul is meant for something greater. But for whatever reason... You're stuck in this ever looping cycle that's not letting you break through to really, really where you want to go, really who it is you want to be, really it is who you want to express and experience in this world. And what I recommend you to do is message me one-on-one and I'll get you the details for a consultation with me. So we have a special for my consultations for the month of October. Usually my consultations are $333 just for one consultation, and then that goes to one of my one-on-one or online courses. This month's only for the one-on-one consultations. It's $50 to be able to to talk with, we talk together, we go through what's actually going on, and then from that, that $50 goes into whatever program um, or one-on-one guidance that I offer. Um, for you to really start tapping into living an uncompromised life, for you to really start tapping into trusting yourself and knowing how to take action when these um, little messages drop in for you. And so um, message me uncompromised to get the book. So Patrick, I'll make sure I'll send you the link after this. Um, Share this and you'll be entered to win the drawing. And then lastly, message me one-on-one to be able to... um, get the details on that. Now, I just want to go back to Patrick when you said I'm codependent on love. So thank you for sharing, first of all. And I want to talk about this. I did a live, I think on day three about codependency specifically, but I'll go back to it because I brought it up here. So code people like to talk shit about narcissism and they like to say that like it's this this person so evil or these things. And that's really just not the case. The, the truth is, is that the better question that you need to ask is why would you attract a narcissist into your life? And from you attracting that into your life, why, what can you do to heal from it? What can you do to overcome it? And so 
a lot of times if you're attracting a narcissist, it's because you're a spiritual codependent. It's because you so badly need to be mm, seen. You so badly want to feel loved. And you so badly will do whatever it takes that this narcissist knows exactly how to say things into that type of person, that type of avatar. Because a narcissist is basically looking for people like that so they can manipulate you and have you do what they want you to do. So in my case, it was very much like I, they wanted a child, they wanted stuff for my money, they wanted me to do stuff with their business, like all these other things. And um, what I wanna share with you is why that would have, luckily none of it worked, they said no to every single thing, but why that I was in that situation is because I felt like I was being seen, I felt like I was being, experienced in a way and I couldn't do that on my own and so as a codependent if you're seeking other people to give you that experience you're seeking other people to give you kind of that validation I don't know if I love that word but in a way it's what it is validation um, you will always attract unhealthy people you will always attract people that are trying to manipulate you for the, for you to do what they can't do they will always seek out people that they can easily influence and manipulate and so the way to overcome this codependency on love is to start trusting yourself and being like, okay, when I hang out with this person, they're saying some things or they're doing some things and it doesn't feel good. Like I had many red flags. Like I remember in the beginning of this co-created dynamic, I remember in the very beginning, I was with a friend that I was like, I know this is not healthy. There's red flags all over it already, like huge major red flags. And I didn't listen to myself. And that's like not obeying our trust. That's like betraying ourself, betraying who it is we think that we should be um, because we feel like we need this person's love for whatever reason or we feel like that this person is allowing us to experience a sense of ourselves that we have not yet experienced. And so um, the greatest thing you can do with codependency and the greatest thing I did is to allow yourself to see that you have a way of codependently desiring and needing others and to start to see how you can detach yourself from others. And so sometimes this may bring up an abandonment wound. So for an example, I have some really good friends um, when I was on my healing journey from this and we would be like hanging out and they would have to leave like just to go do their life or do whatever. And it's just friends of mine, not even like relationships. And I would feel like so much pain when someone was leaving, even though it was like totally healthy, they were doing it to like go live their life or they were doing it to whatever. But it was like because... I couldn't be like this with them all the time or this energy that I needed. Like I felt like I constantly needed it. I felt like I was being abandoned in a lot of ways. And so now when I was in my healing journey, when people would leave, I would be like, okay, they're leaving. Like it's good. And sometimes I wouldn't tell this person, but I would be like crying when they left. So I'd be like, I'm releasing my codependency. I'm releasing my codependency. I'm releasing my codependency. And when we get in that place of like, okay, we get to understand that no one's abandoning us, that no one is here to harm us, that everyone is working in our favor, and that the sooner that we can just go, okay, people have a life outside of me that's totally okay, I don't need their energy right this second, I don't need their attention, what can I do to shift this energy and shift this attention inward, like bringing it up in instead of out? And so it's a different, because when you're bringing it out, you're like, you're going this way with your mouth. When you're bringing it in, you're usually coming in from your bottom. So Patrick, what I'd share with you with that codependency is like, this is something you really want to work on because otherwise you're always going to attract unhealthy women or you're going to untrack people that are always just trying to manipulate you and take from you. And you're going to be wonder why you always feel depleted, but at the same time, you feel validated when someone needs you. So really work on how can you need yourself? How can you work on yourself? How can you be your own hero, your own thing? And when you feel like someone's leaving you, or you feel like, um, and they're not really leaving you, they're just like going to do a normal thing in life, be like, okay, this is my codependency activated. Like I feel it and I'm releasing it. Like I feel it, this is not healthy for me to feel this way. This is healthy for someone else to do this. And like, how can I focus on me? So that's a big thing. And that takes a level of awareness, it takes a level of practice, it takes a level of commitment to trusting yourself, and it takes a level of commitment to knowing like, okay, that person is not good for me, so I'm not doing that. This person is good for me, it's healthy, and this is my own stuff that I get to release. And this is why it's so important to have like a mentor, is what I'm talking about, 
to work one-on-one -on -one with me. Um, so when you're having these moments, we can break it through together. Like I didn't do this alone. I didn't get to here by myself. Like I, trust me, I've spent so much. It's probably ridiculous that people would laugh on processing this and understanding how to be a better person because I chose I would not suffer. I was going to absolutely be a thriver. I was not going to be a victim. I was going to take full responsibility for why things created in my were created in my life. And I was absolutely, absolutely going to live an uncompromised life that was never again compromising my soul for the love of someone else. Never. I was never going to do it again because it was such a painful lesson. And when something is like so painful in our life, it's meant to scar us. It's meant to leave a scar to like literally show that we're initiated into a new level of consciousness. And that's why, that's what I help my clients do all the time. It's just initiate into a new level of consciousness, understand a new way of being. And so um, message me one-on-one -on -one to get the details. Like I said, it's $50 for the consultation. And then um, that $50 goes towards whatever we agree to work on together. Um, you can pre-order the book, An Uncompromised Life. So this is the conversation you enjoy having. I highly, highly, highly recommend pre-ordering the book. And then if you share it again, um, just share it and um, let me know. Tag us and we'll make sure you get entered to win. So I just want you to know when you're watching this, you are so close to your heartbreak being over. You are so close to your pain passing. And I want you to know that you absolutely are worthy and deserving to fall madly in love in this beautiful world.